Installing an electric water heater is a process that requires a few basic steps. Here I show you how to do it. Select the location. The first thing is to choose a suitable place in your house to place the water heater, which should be close to the water pipe connections and an electrical outlet. Criteria for placing the water heater. The tank should be placed at least 25 cm from the corners of the walls and at least 10 cm from the ceiling. If the tank is considered to be at the bottom, it should be placed at least 80 cm from the floor, since this way we can give it maintenance when required. The electrical outlet should be at least 60 cm from the water heater and it is suggested that it have a protective cover against water splashes. Fixing the water heater. When you already have the exact place where the tank will go, proceed to mark the holes of the support on the wall where it will be anchored, then make the holes with a drill. We put the dowels in each hole, well here we know it by that name, I don't know what other name you know them by. It is necessary to place these elements since we would have a better grip and thus be able to support the weight of the tank. We put the tank back in place. We put the bolts that will hold all the weight. The next step is to connect the pipes. The water heaters have two tubes, one that is the tube for the cold water inlet and another that is for the hot water outlet. To know which is the tube for cold and hot water, you must look at the color that is marked, for the cold water inlet it is blue and for the hot water outlet it is red. For this tank, the cold water inlet is on the right side, while on the left side is the hot water outlet. In the pipes, it has also been considered in the same way. If in your case you have this inverted, there is no problem, you can connect the flexible tubes crossed, the main thing is that each cold or hot water pipe is connected to its respective inlet or outlet in the tank. Let's start with the cold water pipe connection. In the cold water inlet pipe, a safety valve must be considered, which is an overpressure and non-return valve. Make sure to use sealant and Teflon tape on the connections. This type of valve only allows the water flow in one direction and this is indicated with an arrow. This valve is necessary to prevent hot water from returning to the cold water pipe. If we look inside, the cold water inlet pipe is short and ends at the bottom, unlike the hot water pipe that absorbs water from the top of the tank. This design is like this because, when the water is heated through the electrical resistance, this hot water, due to its low density, is deposited at the top. Continuing with the safety valve. It also acts against overpressure in the tank. When the pressure is above what is allowed, then it allows the water or air to be released through a small hole. There is the option of two types of relief or discharge pressures, at 7 bar or 10 bar. There are two types of safety valves, one that has a lever to allow the water to be discharged from the tank manually in case we want to perform maintenance on the water heater, and there is another model of valves that does not have them. In such a case, it is recommended to include a drain key, in this way making it easier to drain the water when performing maintenance. In some cases, the holes in the water pipes are very deep in the wall, so it is necessary to use couplings and thus move the connection a little further out and thus not have a problem when placing the flexible connectors. Now, we proceed to place the flexible connector, for this you must place Teflon tape or hemp with sealant on the threaded part, although the female flexible connector already has a type of rubber so it is no longer necessary to use Teflon tape. At the other end, Teflon tape is necessary. Now we proceed to make the connection to the hot water outlet pipe. I am going to consider a non-metallic coupling to avoid rust between the pipe and the flexible connector. As always, use Teflon tape on the threaded parts to avoid water leaks. This coupling could also have been considered before placing the safety valve on the cold water inlet. We connect the meshed flexible, both at the outlet of the tank pipe and at the hole in the hot water pipe. This side of the flexible is male type, if in this case you have a female type, you will need a coupling with threading for outside. Filling the tank and purging. When all the connections are ready, the water heater must be filled with cold water. It is recommended that the faucets that are connected to the hot water outlet be open, whether from the shower or the sink, in order to eliminate the air trapped in the system and thus help the water flow correctly. Connect to the electric current. 
Once the tank is filled with water, we proceed to connect it to an electrical outlet. Verify that the electrical installation is safe and complies with the standards. Generally, the power of the tanks is 1,500 watts, so the water heater can be connected to an electrical outlet without problem. It is suggested that this comes directly from the electrical panel where you have your thermomagnetic and differential switch. In some cases it is necessary to connect a small hose to the hole in the safety valve, this hose must end in a drain, since when there is an overpressure, the water that may be released will go to that point. And finally, check its operation. Turn on the water heater and check that it works correctly. Make sure there are no water leaks or electrical problems. Remember to follow the manufacturer's specific instructions and, if you don't feel confident, consider hiring a professional for the installation. If you want to know more about the water heater and how it works inside, here at the end is the link to said video, which is very interesting. There are also videos about the electric shower and more. Subscribe and share this information. See you later.